Melissa from Nature's Garden. Today we are going to make a margarita gel wax candle. Let's whip it up! to make a gel wax candle using our brand new shaker of salt fragrance oil. This fragrance oil is super awesome. It starts with top notes of lime and salt with some green notes in there and then it has middle notes of pineapple and rose and it finishes with base notes of vanilla. It is amazing. It actually has a scent of a margarita so we are going to make a candle with our gel wax and it's going to be a margarita on the rocks so let's go ahead and get started all right so the first thing we are going to do is we are going to create some lime slices we have a mold that i actually use quite often really love this mold it's from flexiblemolds.com it is a lemon and lime slices mold it can be used for oranges we use it quite a bit it's a really great mold uh, we are going to create just a few lime slices to go in our margarita. So to do that, we are going to use the beeswax. I have 10 grams of beeswax here. We are also going to be coloring our limes with our melon nature friendly liquid candle dye. If you have not tried these dyes yet, they are amazing in candles. Uh, they are very low odor. I find them a little bit easier to clean up. So I really, really like them for that reason. But, so all we're going to do is in our double boiler that we've already set up, we are going to add our beeswax. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and leave that portion unscented and we'll just go ahead and let it melt and then we'll get it colored and poured. So now that our beeswax has melted, we are going to go ahead and use a toothpick to add just a tiny bit of our colorants. And we'll just get that stirred in. Okay, and now we'll just let those set up and I'm gonna go ahead and get this out of the way. Okay, and we're not gonna need the double boiler anymore. When you melt gel wax, you do it directly on the burner. So we're gonna go ahead and move this. All right, for the next portion, we're going to be working with our gel wax. So let's talk a little bit about the gel wax. There's a few things that you'll need to know. First of all, you want to make sure that you test your fragrance oil for compatibility. We did test our shaker of salt for compatibility. What is required for it to be compatible? First, you wanna make sure that that flash point is above 170 degrees Fahrenheit. You also want to test it with mineral oil. So what you'll do is you'll mix it with the mineral oil and you will Give it a shake, make sure it's not cloudy. You'll do a 50-50 mix, three parts to one part and then one part to three parts. And you'll just shake it up. You wanna look for any kind of like striations, um, if it has like striations or anything like that in the mixture. You don't wanna use it in gel wax if you notice separation, cloudiness, things like that. This is because gel wax is primarily a oil, an oil. So it's really, really important that you check for compatibility. The next thing that you need to know when you're working with gel wax, you only want to use a half an ounce of fragrance oil per pound. Finally, when it comes to the wick, you don't want to use a cotton wick. We recommend using a zinc core wick. Cotton wicks can absorb the, the oil a little, a little too much. And since the uh, gel wax is primarily oil, it's really important that you use the proper wick as well. So let's go ahead and get started. The first 
first thing we are going to do, like I said, we're making a margarita on the rocks, right? So we want to do ice cubes. We are going to take gel wax, and this is our four loaf silicone mold. You could also use another, um, another type of mold as long as it'll allow you to get cubes because once we pull it out of the mold, we're gonna go ahead and cut it and create ice cubes. But one thing you do wanna be careful of because we do have to get the gel wax very, very hot, you don't wanna use like a plastic mold or anything like that. So let's go ahead and we are using six ounces of the gel wax for our candle or for our ice cubes. All right, now we're just going to melt it right directly on the burner. So now we'll just wait for it to melt. Okay, so now that our gel wax is melted, we're going to go ahead and add the fragrance oil. And this is just a few rims. Like I said, usage rate for gel wax with fragrance oil, half an ounce per pound. So we're just using a few grams here. Okay, now we're just going to go ahead and pour it into one of the cavities of our loaf mold. And now we'll just need to let this set up and we'll be ready to get it cut. Okay, so now that our gel wax has set up, we're going to go ahead and remove it from the mold. All right, and now as you can see, we have a slab of gel wax and we're just going to take and cut it into ice cubes. before we prepare the main portion of our candle, we are going to go ahead and prepare our margarita glass. So I've already put a zinc core wick in the margarita glass. What we're going to do is we're going to salt the rim. So we really want to do this outer edge of the rim. And what we are going to use is we are using our palm wax. The reason we're using the palm wax is when you compare it to the Pillar of Bliss, the palm is slightly whiter. So we really want it to look like salt. So we're gonna go ahead and put a little glue around the rim and then we will take our plate and pour our wax on and then we'll just dip our cup. So. And we're just using glue on the rim of the glass.
All right, now we are ready to go ahead and begin melting our gel wax for the margarita portion. This is eight ounces of our gel wax. We'll go ahead and get it melted right on our burner once again. Okay, so now that our wax is melted, we're going to go ahead and use our Nature Friendly Candle Dye. This is the melon color, and we're just going to use a toothpick to add just a small amount of the liquid candle dye. You have to remember that the gel wax is translucent, so you really won't need much color at all. Now we're just going to add our fragrance oil. And I've added about a quarter of an ounce. Finally, we're just going to make sure our wick is centered. I'm using a paintbrush for this. Now we're just going to pour it right into our container. And now we'll just go ahead and let this set up most of the way. But while it's still warm, we're going to add our ice cubes. You want to set, let it set up for a bit. Make, and when it's still warm, you'll kind of feel, make sure that it's hard enough so that the ice cubes don't sink totally to the bottom because we want some of them to be able to set on top as well. So now we're just gonna let it set for a bit. Okay, so now we are ready to add the ice cubes to our candle. And I'm gonna go ahead and get this out of the way for a moment. I wanna kind of show you, if you press onto your, um, your gel wax, it'll indent slightly, but it won't like sink down. That's kind of the consistency that we're looking for. Um, we want it to indent, but we don't want to be able to completely, for it to be completely liquid. So we will go ahead and add our ice cubes and we will press them in slightly. And there you have it. All that is left to do is add our lime. And there you go. For even more fragrance fun ideas, make sure you check out our website at www.naturesgardencandles.com. Make sure that you're subscribed to the channel and that you like the video. And until next time, we will see you later.